I still have quite a bit of arrows left. Why are these stacks strangely split, though? Um. Oh, there's a bridge. So I've been this way. That's what I think about your stupid fucking exploding ball. If you haven't noticed yet, I generally don't land the first shot, but I very quickly hone into them and start getting them. What is going on with this huge little ravine thing going on here? Okay, there's the nether portal. And there is that other chunk of land I was talking about with the gas spawners in the middle and stuff. I'm thinking the last wool is out that direction. <sighs> now, I know there's a piston somewhere. expecting you to spawn yet. Oh. wonder if this is Daisy's house here. I know I had been... Ooh, nether wart. I know I had been in a house that had that whole little drop-off hole thing and it said Welcome to my nightmare or something and bad things happened kinda but I don't know I know I have a piston somewhere and the only way I can think to get across that decently safely would be some kind of a piston bridge I mean I could always try building railings too but I just in general don't feel safe building in the air like so. Whoa. I guess all I have to do is build a little bit, step back, build a little bit, step back. Oh, that was close. face in his face oh yes all right that's one of them down okay that one stops spinning if I move back here so that's handy This is why I built the bridge out of something that can withstand explosions. Is that light going to make any difference to its spawn rate? I doubt it. Spawn one. Spawn one? Please spawn one. That I almost got nailed square in the face by a gas ball there. I don't know if you noticed that. Oh jeez. Natural spawning ghasts. Okay. What? Okay. 
those naturally spawning gas almost caused very, very bad things. God dang it! You stop! Okay, there's only one gas spawner left. My likeliness to have enough blocks to finish this is pretty low. Oh. Wait, you can break these with a wooden pick? That's surprising, to say the least. But. This is going somewhere very slowly. By somewhere, I mean obviously nowhere. Alright, we have made it across, essentially. Ooh, holes in the bridge that must be repaired. I guess it's not that nether brick is really dark, I guess it's that this entire area is really dark. Okay, that place is screwed. Shit! Onto the obsidian. You haven't tried to do that to me recently, Vex, so I applaud you on that. Unfortunately, I heard it. Filling all the holes just because I don't feel safe. And I believe that to be the last of the wool. So, I don't know, the road over, is, over was dangerous enough, so we'll have to see what this looks like in here, though. I'm, oh. I'm worried that I might not have enough blocks. Actually, what worries me the most the fact that I already hear the sounds blazes. Oh, that's a creeper. Hmm. This place is made of wood. And it's filled with blazes. Oh, I may have done something very bad. Actually, the blazes may have pretty much made things extremely easy for me. Fires spread. This is where things go to hell in a handbasket real quick. We're gonna go in this spot, I think. Ooh. Ooh, I'm glad the reach on a stick is low. Yeah, what do you think about that, creepers? Alright, 
about now that blaze is going. What do you think about that? And all I have to say to him is, ouch. Hmm. Let's. Oh, hi there. Oh, I'm just asking for a creeper to jump on my head. I think this one. Oh. My plan is just going to be a quick in and out. Oh, how did I get in here? Thank you. That was the anti drop on my head maneuver. Okay. Ah, good. I have one more regeneration potion. I think it's time to get the fuck out. Ah! Run away! Run away! Get away from the creepers! <sighs> the regeneration potion, potion was in case I got lit on fire. Cause bad things could have happened if I was on fire. And I realize that I'm on the final stretch. I'm running back. Anything could happen. Like that random ass gas spawn. And that random ass gas spawn. I could just run in this portal. Ignore them. Never have to deal with them. Did you stop moving so much? But I want to kill this gas before I leave. <laughs> I was just sitting there and it just felt like slow-mo with the arrow flying, just waiting for it to nail it or miss. Oh. Hey, I'm in water. You can't light me on fire down here. What do you think about that? Stop jumping. their last line of defense. They're trying to stop me. I will have none of it. Oh, I missed. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go past. Oh, yes! The diamond helmet. Hopefully it survives till the end. If I take any damage on the way back, it's not going to, probably. Oh, hi there. Now just, just check, I have one, two, three wools. The last three wools, the wools that I did not have, I got them ver via not very nice means, but then again, Bex was using not very nice means to try and stop me from getting them. Gas and blazes, things you can't even shut off with torches, I mean, what is this crap? Yeah, I probably could have made TNT, made a TNT cannon, blew everything up. But then I would have risked blowing up the wool, and that's just something I didn't want to do. So, I have no regrets, even on the cheaty methods I used the last part there. And hey, some of those things I actually did fight off everything, go up, and get the diamonds. So, yeah, this is essentially the, you know, thoughts run back scenario. And I'm going to run it. Because I do not trust anything. I mean, come on. Right here is a testament to why you do not trust anything in a Vex map. Even parking lots can be considered weapons. But, uh, it's definitely been quite interesting. Not quite... I mean, granted this, this map, the original map, wasn't designed to be super hostile for the most part. It was more of a play through the book in Minecraft, I suppose. Sort of like that. Or, kind of, not really. Um, but, you know, then obviously this is supposed to be the hard version. My personal opinion is that instead of, you know, just throwing blazes and stuff at people at the end, I mean, people that actually made potions and stuff and you know, tried to gather slime balls and whatnot, they would have looked at those gas and those blazes and be like, huh, what is this? I 
I mean, my aggressive methodology and not wanting to build, you know, elaborate farms, which I did have to because I needed the arrows towards the end there. These arrows. But I'm shooting at these guys. Uh, I didn't want to do it, but I ended up really needing to. And as for the diamond armor, I mean, I would have made iron and worn only iron and still done it, but unfortunately, Vex didn't allow me iron. There was more diamond that I had found so on this map than I had found in iron, I think. Well, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but we are heading back to the Victory Monument, putting all these wools on my bar. And even though I don't think they're in the right order on my bar, I'm going to place them on the monument in the correct order. I should have stopped back at the other thing, grabbed the glowstone, and completely restored the monument. But it's a little bit too late for that now. I don't know how long this took. It might have been... I Actually, I don't know. I have a good feeling it was probably over an hour. But, that's fine with me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this series. Now that this is over, at least until I come up with something else to do, I'm going to be putting a lot more work into my, uh, my regular old Let's Play, and definitely working on my texture pack some more. Specifically, things like signs are hard to read. So, if you have any, you know, questions or, you know, thoughts or anything on the series, or even my texture pack, I don't care, anything. But, uh, yeah, feel free to let me know in the comments or via private messages. And if you like this, subscribe, because hopefully I'll be doing more like this in the future. If you're already subscribed, well, then thank you for subscribing. And, uh, yeah, this is now a complete monument with everything on it. I was looking at the moon, spider. But, uh, thank you for watching. Please uh, like the video if you liked it because that helps it gets gets helps it get a little bit more recognition on YouTube. So um, that's all I have to say for that. So uh, yep, I'm gonna say it once again. I thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in whatever I do next.